Welcome to Frontend Web Development. In this video, we will learn about fonts and applying some text effects and applying borders using CSS properties. Let's head back to the coding part. Let me create a file called fonts and borders. HTML. Let's be. There you go. Let me create a paragraph with some dummy text. Let's have an ID to that. ID equals my paragraph. And let's start coding here. It's applying style by using style element. Since it is an ID, let me use a pan symbol and write the ID part for it. There you go. My para, let's apply the most important font uh, applying on the text is the font place, font family. We can do this by using, you can see this, there is a popping up the different kinds of and font family over here. Pick one of it, please. You see this area, area, Helvetica and sans serif. Why it is occupying like three, why it is popping up within three values. This is because, you know, like depends upon the browser, there are few uh, font families that are available or may not be available. So if it is not available, if Arial is not available, let's the next preference would be Helvetica. If it is also not available, then it would be sans serif. If these three are not available, the default, the browser, what it supports, that will be picking up. So let's look at, let's look at it. Let me show you that up. There you go, please. So the next important property on the font is font size. Font size, let me apply like 20, 30 pixel. You'll be seeing this, you see this, this is a bigger one. Next one, let me apply the color to that. It's not in font color page, it's in color. Let me apply blue to that. There you, there you go. It's in blue in color. Next. Let's apply the font weight to that. Font weight. Let's apply. Um, let me take the bold. You see that they, it's showing up bold and bolder to me. If it do not mention anything, that would be the normal one. Bold. See this, this is in a thick in color now. If you want more bolder, go with a more bold, bolder please. Now this can be represented by using the numbers as well. Bold and bolder. They can also be represented by using the numbers from 100 to 900, please. 700 is the bolder. If you want more thicker than that, go with an 800 or the 900. So let me apply 700 over here. There you go. It's in a bolder. If you want more bolder, go ahead with our, above the 700. If you want the less bolder thing, let me take the 400 over here. There's you go. It's a normal, bigger than the normal one, little thicker than the normal one. There. Similarly, the text align, you see this, the left one is in ordered, but the right one is in not in ordered. So if you want that to be done, you can always apply the text align. Text align, the property, it, it takes an center and justify left, right. So mostly we'll be using the justify, it depends upon the requirement. There you go, it's been justified. Right, next, we'll try to take another text related effects, text transform. There you go. Text transform can be like uppercase, lowercase, capitalize, likewise, please. So if I if I write that as an uppercase, all the text will be converted to the uppercase. If you want that to be the capitalized, each word in each word in the sentence, the first character would be uppercase. A similar note, you can have the text decoration as well. Text decoration can be done by using, there are many options like dash, dotted, double, line, throw, likewise, please. Underline, uh, mostly we'll be using this whenever you find like any links that will be basically that will be under underlined. So can be applied by using underline. So let, let me show you that. There you go, please. If you do not want it, please comment it. Next, let's apply the borders to that. Let me take another division over here 
for better understanding. Let me give my division name as ID equals my div. Supply borders to that. ID borders. Let me give the border name, um, height and the width, please. Height, let me have the border of the height 200 pixel. Width as 300 pixel. So most of the times we'll be using the pixel units. And to view that, uh, let me apply the background color as something like blue. Get it? It's not been showing up. Oh, it's my div place, not ID. There you go. It's a box we created. Border. Let's apply borders to that. You know, like CSS units, please try to understand the CSS units. Um, you, need to, you need to pay little attention on the units as well. So let me help you out in that. CSS units can be divided into the two parts. One, can, one is called as an absolute unit. The other one is in relative units. Absolute units, uh, you might have noticed by now, um, absolute units are pixels, inches, and... and centimeters right basically one pixel one pixel is equals to one pixel is equals to one by 96 inches you know like it is the pixel is the smallest unit in the on the screen which you'll be seeing the small dotted whenever you notice that that is called as a pixel right? uh, there, there is another type that is called as an uh, relative units relative units Relative units are something like percentages. You might have noticed this many times. Percentages, viewport height, viewport width. Uh, you know, the viewport is a, the uh, the part which is the visible screen of visible area or the screen of your browser, please. Viewport height, viewport width. Also, uh, rem and am are the other attributes, please. So what do you mean by relative units? Like, let me, to demonstrate that, let me have another div under an outer div, div. Let me have, my div is something like id equals inner div, right? So let us write something like inner div. It's going wrong here. Ah, it's correct, yeah. Inner div. Let me apply the border for that now. Um, no, not the border, height of it. Height, uh, I wanted to take the half of my height and the width of the outer div. So how do I do that? Usually we'll write like 150 pixel and width is uh, equals to 100 pixel. Let me apply the background color. Uh, to differentiate to blue um, on it, let me apply the cyan color. You might notice this, right? The height and the width is like a half of it i'm trying to pick it up so uh no height is one 200 here i think it should be 100 and the width is 150. my bad i missed the point values there you go it is the half of it right so whenever the uh, relative units are something uh for example if i take the percentage it's always in a, relative in terms of its parent place you know like my inner div a parent is in my div so it's relative to this one if i want to take the half of it i can always write the 50 percent of it 50 percent of my 200 is in 100 that's what we have written literally just that's now so let me write the percentage oh. on a similar note with 300 i have written literal 150 pixel so i can write this as well in 50 percent it's a it's it takes according to its parent 50 percent please its parent is an outer div that is my div it's an 200 and 300 it's 50 percent will be applied so if you notice this there's no change in it it's one and same please on a similar note vh and vw Viewport height, viewport width, bear, depends upon your browser area, please. Visible part of your browser, uh, you can plan accordingly. Similarly, REM is relative to the font size of your root element. 
uh, your root element is an HTML, how much the pixel you have been planned for root element, that uh, that part of it will be taken for the RAM, right? Similarly, AM relative to its parent place. This is with an um, borders. I, I think I did not apply the borders. Let me talk about the borders now. Uh, for the outer part, let me apply the border. Outer div, uh, my border, um, I would like to give something like width, border width. You know, like there are many here. Border width can be something like, let me take two pixel. It is not visible if I take it now. Let me give the color to that. Um, border style, border style and the color. Border style should can I can take like as in solid. Um, border color is something like red. I can so that I can differentiate blue and red. You see that, right? Border style. Let me change the solid to the dashed something or dotted. Some it's up to you. There you go. Let me increase the width of it four pixel. There you go. Now, on similar thing, uh, you see these these three things I have written written in, in three different lines, right? I can always combine them into one line as well, one line as well. So how do I do that? How do I do that? Border equals write the values in one go. The first one represents the width four pixel. The second one can be the style of it. The third one can be the color of it. Um, my bad, I should not give any commas over here. So let's check it out. It's exactly the same place. It's in solid, so it has been showing up the complete border of it. This is how you can write the all three different uh, lines of CSS property into one thing, please. Please explore more on the CSS units, work on more on borders. See you in the next video.